Chris Hall with Beach Acres Parenting Center, and we're here today for our Stories from the Quilt series uh, with the Honorable Judge Forrest from Claremont County. And Judge, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your court? Hi, yes, I'm Michael Forrest. I'm, uh, I was elected uh, first in 1986, term to start in 1987. As the first, I was elected as the first separately elected domestic relations court judge in Claremont County. I have enjoyed the almost 24 years there, and I had done a pretty substantial family court practice when I was a practicing attorney, and I kind of felt uh, uh, some kind of uh, just desire to set up a, a family court, that, a divorce, domestic relations court that would, would uh, really do something to help people out because some of the courts I've been in, I didn't think were, were doing as good a job as could be done. I wanted to kind of set a model for how you could run a, a really good uh, domestic relations court. Long after I got elected, uh, a friend of mine happened to mention something that really struck me. He says, well, Judge, he said, are you going to have a divorce mill or are you going to do something to help people? Mm -hmm. And that stuck with me and kind of uh, tapped my, my feelings of wanting to do something uh, different maybe than some of the other courts were run at the time. And so having been a practicing lawyer in family court, I knew about Beach mm -hmm. Acres. And so they offered various programs in Hamilton County at the time, voluntary programs. And so I started the first one in, oh, what was 87, 88, 89, right in there. Uh, Sally Brush and Marie Hill, two of the staff people, phenomenal people, came to me in, along 88, 89, somewhere, and says, Judge, because this was a voluntary partnership, would you consider making it mandatory before they got their divorce, people with children, making them go to this two or three hour uh, educational class on uh, basically mediation and other mm -hmm. ways to help the children cope. And I said, well, I said, how many other judges are doing this yeah. in the country? They said, two or three. In the whole nation? That's what they said. And mm -hmm. my hair kind of stood up on the back of my neck. I told them to come up with a proposal, mm -hmm. thinking I might not hear from them again. Right. Right. And they came back. And, and I did mention to them, uh, as long as the program, I would consider it as long as the program had to do with helping children. Helping the children. That was the key. And I mm -hmm. thought, well, I don't know if I'll hear again. And then before too many months came by, they came in. So we have a proposal that would be mandatory before they got a decree, which I knew was going to be controversial. And so when they told me that, especially about two or three other judges, mm -hmm. and I don't even know if they were fibbing about that. <laughs> but, <laughs> The sweat broke out on my neck. I said, oh boy, they called my hand. I said, how do I get out of this? I said, okay, we'll do it. Well, little did I know, as Deb just reminded me, what a firestorm making it mandatory because apparently few, if any, others were doing that because uh, once that was announced and I adopted that policy, boom, it hit the news. I got calls all day long from Colorado, all over the place, from live radio mm -hmm. drive time. Mm -hmm. And I remember this one young announcer from Chicago, she was kind of the toughest. She says, come on, Judge, you don't think that'll really help kids, do you? Yeah. And I sure told her straight out. I mean, that was kind of a, not a softball question. And, and I explained to her that I thought it really would work or I wouldn't do it. Almost every court in the United States does it now, and most of them probably make it mandatory. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that set it apart. They did surveys afterwards, mm -hmm. follow-ups, and many and many of them said, uh, especially the men, but a lot of them said they were not happy about having to go and mm -hmm. kind of almost a chip on their shoulder attitude about it. And afterwards, they were amazed. They had mm -hmm. never thought about it. They were 
thinking of issues with the other parent and not focused. So it refocused them, at the very least, it refocused them to start thinking about their children. What do you think the benefit for the child is when their parent goes through the program? Oh, absolutely not getting caught in the conflict, which the custody fights, as most judges that hear these cases will say the same thing, if not all of them, that the custody fights rarely have anything to do with the children. Oh, it's interesting. issues between the parents yeah. most of the time. Mm -hmm.